<clears throat> so, um, obviously, I guess I just share words simply because um, I might as well share words and I can't share no bars. Ugh, let myself down on that one. Just, just not keeping it punctual to join the Just Me Challenge. But as I checked out a few of the Just Me Challenges, um, I came across one dope artist I really like. Um, I, I like the message of the brand. <laughs> I liked his submission, um, LB, Mr. Lyrical Bars, but the name's LB, um, I checked out his page for a second, seen a few things I like, I'm gonna check him out, I'm gonna check him out, um, of course, uh, I totally recommend y'all check out Oren, I recommend his rap snack series, um, <laughs> That was my introduction to his sound and everything. Um, he really gets busy. It's like, yeah, he can have fun and everything. Like, if you heard the Just Me track, but I encourage you to check out anything from his catalog. But that would be my introduction, Rap Snacks. Um, uh, and I say that to say that uh, um, I wouldn't have been on most of these artist pages if it wasn't for the competitive streak of it all. Um, I'm going to share a post. Uh, I'm going to show how you can get to my previous challenge I did, which was the uh, Glorious Challenge for Big Crit last year, 2018, November. And um, basically, you know, sometimes it's like, okay, you're on this page now for what you can take away from it. You know, sometimes, sometimes artists check out the artist's page because, it's like, oh, okay, well... What are they doing that I could be doing or whatever? Or like, oh, okay, they're competing against me in this this contest and I'm submitting information to. So, <clears throat> oh, so let's just see how they did. Let's see what the competition is looking like. And it's, um, there's much more opportunity for exploring and supporting what's out there than just seeing your competition. And I just want to encourage y'all to just find out what you genuinely like that's how i've come to to support a lot more artists to my side instead of up is that i just find what i like because um with these algorithms and everything um these apps and your phone are going to bring suggestions that are close to what you're currently in a certain niche of, you know what I'm saying, you've been listening to a certain style and you've been li listening to posts with certain tags for a while, it's going to suggest stuff that's fairly accurate. Just check them out from time to time, you know. I think that one thing we could do as creators for each other is stick together in that sense. <laughs> we all know it's a lot of aggression in this lane. We all know that you can't put too much time into too many things so that you can get things going for your career but um, nobody will understand the struggle more than other people struggling with the same goals in the same industry so you know there's nothing wrong with taking time out just to check people out for just genuinely pur genuine purposes <laughs> you know i'm not saying just you know hype up everybody and just go <laughs> searching all over the world wide web i'm just simply saying that if you know what you like among your peers you're going to be checking for it anyways you know what i'm saying and that's my way of it i always felt like i'm always going to be finding artists i like because i check out the ones i genuinely like and they happen to run with other artists i really like and everything so i'm not so i'm not saying just blindly do it and force yourself to do it you know let the people that listen to almost anything do that but for you, I, I would just encourage you all to, to just do that a little bit more, man. Because um, um, you don't always have to see people as competition. And competition is obviously a positive um, a positive emotion or, or mindset. It's only negative um, if you're going at it from a very um, kill or be killed kind of way. But I'm not saying competition is an issue. <laughs> But it's just it's a facet of um of how people connect with each other and how people push each other. And that's not the only facet 
that you'd want to be in if you want to have a well-rounded experience you want to get something a little more purposeful about this journey in my opinion so i just want to encourage y'all to do that a little more man seriously <laughs> like it's it's nothing more confusing than to be like hey you know um i want i want new ears i want an audience i want people to listen and then you see artists and the first thing you do is scroll past the first thing you do is close the link you know the first thing you do is go to what you always listen to um if it's you know in the case of it being like mainstream which uh which really defeats the purpose um, um of what's really going on here and um that's something i, I want to do and um uh funny enough i am taking all my projects that i have been doing on the side as a creative that like jumps around a little too much, I've been trying to to literally crunch the numbers on what time I have in a day and what's most important and how much time I should um to give to those each project. And one project does involve um making more of a sense of community among musicians and rap musicians more specifically. So, you know, you'll be seeing more of that and it's more of like a go with the flow kind of thing i don't have much of a program or like a like a venue in mind or like a certain setup that'll come when it comes but i do want to work on that as well 